Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> this is Enigma Inc. So today we're going to do Cancer bonus reading December onwards. This can extend up to January as well since time is fluid. So don't take it too precisely when it comes to durations. But I do see like Cancers. Wow. So before starting, uh, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon for more such videos. And... For personal readings, you can book me on WhatsApp or Instagram. And you can also follow me on Instagram for tarot-related updates and offers. So let's begin with Cancer. Someone is uh, dotting on you, okay? So someone has in, has their eye on you. They've been thinking a lot about you, I see. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. There's a lot of passion. I don't see love here till now. Okay, I see a lot of deception from this person and they are hiding something. Maybe they're already married and they're into you. This person is highly passionate about you. Do see like this could be a Scorpio you're dealing with, an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo or a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. They think a lot about this connection. Right now, they're simply feeling the fire and the passion and the pull towards you. Nothing more than that. So this, this is a kind of a person who ditched you in the past and was pretty in and out and never honest and they're quite smart with words they know what to speak what to how to how to convince you you know and uh, i do see like they've always put you in a lot of uh, of thinking and nothing came out because this person has uh, not real or straightforward intentions because of this i feel like this could be a very strong scorpio that you're dealing with or they may have sun moon rising and venus signs and scorpio but i see that you need to release this person completely all right so this is a very negative kind of a person yes nothing is yet set in stone i feel like this person is still working on this connection even though there's nothing that's going to come out okay once you know cancer that this is a connection that is going to take you towards negativity a lot of um, stress uh, confusions so it's better that uh, since you know that nothing nothing is going to come out of the situation you need to move forward you need to move on and let it go okay in spite of the fact that this person is still dotting on you worries yes this is giving you unnecessary worries i feel like they're playing with your mind a lot and they're giving you unnecessary worries so you need to move on yes it's, it's actually uh, i feel like a lot, lot of mind games is being played Okay, so I do see you need to strengthen your crown chakra more. How can you do that? By spending time more in uh, doing something motivational, doing something productive, studying your own field of books. Okay, and uh, uh, listening to motivational stuff like motivational tarot readings that will really help you. So I do see like a balance is required into your life because you're worrying too much. And... Uh, yeah you may be in hands of someone who's not too trustworthy okay someone is actually playing with your very strong energy of that person that's coming in yes time will heal everything so don't bother because you know everything happens the right duration at the right time so have patience keep faith and this too shall pass so not, no need to worry this too shall pass i know that you're going through a lot of stress Related to this, sometimes you have sleep issues, sometimes you want to trust this person, but you end up getting hurt. But then, you know, past life, yes, this is someone from the past who you are still stuck on or you still keep thinking about or going back to. But I feel like this situation is need uh, is going to end. Time is going to reverse the situation. Time is going to heal everything. Everything is going to end with the 10 over here. See, maybe uh an ending is coming to an uh is very close to, uh, to you so the ending is very near so as the time sh uh, as the time passes by this all is going to change okay and you are going to move forward yes so there's someone who's coming into your life at the perfect time your divine person your divine masculine your divine feminine is coming towards you whoa Yes, this is someone who's a leadership, who has leadership qualities. You, you're going to deal with someone, either they are going to be your boss or this is someone who likes to lead people, okay, who likes to lead with example. They may be someone who is a motivational speaker, very inspiring, 
who says words uh, of wisdom that inspires so many people and i think that's the kind of a person you're going to attract soon all right so someone who is boss who's like a boss who's a high uh, level person rebuild so i do see like you need to build up that strength to let it go and miracles let miracles allow into your life i see like heal your heart relax uh, don't let anyone put the sword you know um on your heart so let it go and i think yeah, like you need to move forward i see a lot of three three i feel like uh, you need to know um you need to do something about this connection you just cannot sit and wait for this to end on its own you have to do something about it you have to rebuild your strength i see like you may be thinking of joining a course you may be thinking of uh, meeting a new person allowing a new person but you're not doing that so i feel like you need to reach out to something or someone that can really help you come out of the situation this is a new thing new course new um, maybe learning something spiritual getting a, sp a spiritual guidance that will really help you rebuild or change your energy totally so you need to do something like that i also feel like a meditation is really going to heal you in a way and be more expressive expressive open your heart, uh, throat chakra like uh, once you are more expressive once you have someone to share uh, your true feelings with that's when you start healing yourself yes you need to right now be single it's better to be single than jumping into another relationship i feel like just relax take your time breathe out and take a breather and i do see like there's going to be healing happening so rebuilding happening yes you need to spend more time with your friends the people that you uh, that are good to you your friend circle your family your relatives you need to just you know have spend a light hearted time with them drinks and all that will really heal you so your friends are going to heal you <clears throat> Yes, you're not able to take the next step in life because you're very stuck, you're very hurt because you've fallen apart or something, someone had made you feel worse, okay, about you and things fell apart and you're feeling sad. Maybe you were in a third party situation and they kept you stuck. So I feel like you need to come out of the stuck energy. How you can do that? Stop falling for another person. Start working on yourself. How you can do that? By meditation, opening your throat chakra, speaking out more for yourself and reaching out to the people or situations that can really heal you. This will build you up. Some of you need to take a leadership stand on work, in workplace. Some of you will get a promotion where you will be the team lead you lead people and i do feel like you can take up that opportunity to come out of the situation yes there was a lot of uh, deception with you in the past someone was keeping you in third party and this is a strong scorpio that you were dealing with okay or they have this in their chart strongly so i feel like you need to come out of this because this has led you to a lot of negativity patterns events of negativity one after the other chain of events so i feel like with 10 over here again you need to end the situation finish it off brush it off because new things are coming in they're ready to come into into your life they're excited to be into your life but you're not allowing it so stop trying to hold on to something that's not good for you you're trying to do that so let it go okay because this is giving you a lot of nightmares bad dreams or you may be having a lot of fears of losing this person but whatever it is i do feel like if something's bothering you let it go cancer you need to wear a lot of blue, I feel. Okay, yes, that's what I'm saying. Yes, you need to do this. You need to, you, you cannot balance. You Stop trying to uh, hold on to something that's not helping you. Bring balance into your life by letting go of something that's not helping you at all. The moon and the sun. So you need to balance the both aspects of your body. Body, mind, spirit, soul. Yeah, peaceful resolution. Finally, I do see like um, there's going to be a balance in your current condition and uh, you're going to finally find a um, path where you can resolve your issues and move forward, move on. So you'll be able to finally come out of the situation by getting the right kind of advice. All right, so I do see like you may be thinking of going back to the person and clarifying certain situations. The answer is no. Angels are saying to let it go. 
your life will be resolved automatically if you start working on yourself if you take a time off breathe and relax and spend time with your friends this is really going to help you heal and with this and with this i do see like a balance is coming into your life once you start doing this let me have some more tarot for my cancerians The high priestess this could be a big time liar or someone who's very moody sometimes they want you sometimes they want someone else so don't be a part of it this is a person who keeps a lot of secrets like not little but a lot of secrets so whoever you think expect or being skeptical of they are lying actually lying this is a, a pisces for some of you so they may be double dating also there may be a temptation in your life. So you need to end this situation if you want to work out your fears, if you want to be victorious in life, if you want to grow, if you want to be successful, if you want to be recognized, renowned, if you have big dreams, you need to let go of this because I feel like once you do this, you're going to stand up on your feet and do something that's really going to make you lucky. And I do see like you're going to be in your own power. Someone is trying to pull you back okay but you need to come out of it rising from the ashes similarly you need to end the situation with whom you feel like there are a lot of secrets hidden and you don't know about it and you you end up hurting yourself so with the 10 again over here i feel there's an ending happening with them and uh, finally you're going to start afresh and once you start afresh you're going to meet your true love so first of all love yourself be more true to yourself first so that's the reading for my cancerians i really enjoyed doing this reading let us pull some last angel messages for you all one angel message okay what you need to do self-confidence yes i told you leave it on god and you'll de definitely develop self-confidence you don't need to be into another relationship to find confidence and love first you need to find confidence and love in yourself and then get involved with someone else so i do see like your confidence will rise up once you do what i've told you so that's the reading for my cancerians i hope you've enjoyed this reading if you did don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel hit the bell icon and mention in the comment section how this resonated till then we'll see you next time with more such videos stay tuned